Hello everybody and welcome to Encore Motor Cars video presentation of this 2003 Subaru Forester 2.5 with 134,000 miles on it. Just uh, got done driving this car to lunch and, uh, and filming it on the way back to the dealership and I'm really impressed with the way that it drives. Lots of power, clutch feels good. It's the XS version, 2.5 XS Forester all-wheel drive and it was traded in at, uh, for one of our uh, high-end cars here at Encore Motor Cars. We specialize in doing selling um, Mercedes, BMW, Jaguar, uh, Lexus and some other sports cars and, and unique cars. Uh, usually new or newer cars that have very low miles on them. So this was traded in and it's a little too nice for us to just bring to the auction and and sell it to the highest bidder so we decided to put it out there for people that are uh, looking for stuff like this that can buy this for just a little bit over wholesale uh, it's in really good condition inside it's a non-smoker car and it's got very little wear in here uh, i was very surprised actually with the condition of the seats the bolster there is in really good condition the cloth's nice it's not even dirty um, so whoever had this car i didn't get a chance to meet these people they traded it in here Whoever had the car and was and traded it, they did a nice job keeping it up. Looks like it was in the garage. The paint's in good condition. As a rule, there's a couple of little dings on the car. I'll point out those things and a couple of little scuffs on the bumper. But the purpose of the video is to give you full disclosure, everything that I know about it. Uh, it runs and drives great with power, great power. It's ready to enjoy right away. Don't have to do any work to it. Uh, there may be a there may be an exception. There may be a small exhaust leak on uh, this right side, I'm hearing it's a little louder than the other side on the on the bottom uh, Right behind the tire there probably something simple But um, uh, this person uh, apparently was driving this car like that for a while and you can't hear it inside Until I just started it up and walked around the car uh, To just double check to make sure that I was going to be able to point everything out I didn't even hear it at all. So you may not need to worry about it, but it's uh, it's something that I I picked up on and I wanted to make sure I shared it with you so you can see that the headlights are, uh, and the, all the glass and the paint is not faded. The headlights aren't hazing. Uh, so it, to me, it seems like the car has been preserved under, at least in a carport, probably more likely in a garage. The wheels are in good condition. Uh, it's a set of wheels, they're not hubcaps. And it's got a nice set of Kumo tires on it that are still in good condition, at least I'd say 70 to 75% tread on them. Uh, it's got some scuffs on the rear bumper where it looks like some things might have come up against it. There's no actually damage or cracking or anything, just a little bit of paint missing off the very edge on that side and on this very corner over here. Um, you can see that the lower section of the, the bumper is in good condition. The exhaust is chrome and it's still nice. Um, and the back uh, section here, um, I guess I'm not... I'm not pressing the right button here to get this open, but you can see that the mats are in the back here and uh, I believe that this is working. I just don't, don't know uh, Never owned a Subaru Forester, so I'm probably doing something wrong has the cargo mat in the back has the mats for the uh, floors And it has also a dividing Let's take a look from the inside here The, the back seats has the uh, cage back here to for dividing. It doesn't smell like animals in here at all it doesn't smell like dog or anything so i don't know what that's what the, you know it's probably just a place so they could stack cargo here um and there's no smell of pets or anything in here so um i, I was worried about that when i first saw that but there's nothing like that going on the power it's got the power windows power locks power mirrors it has uh cruise control and it's a standard transmission five speed like i said the clutch feels good it shifts nice and smooth it's got the cd player the automatic air conditioning uh, set up in here. You can just set the temperature and put it on auto and the fan automatically comes on. Headliner's in good condition. The visors are all in good condition. There's no surprises or any any kind of negative issue that I know about here on the ins inside of the car. And it does have the heated seats on the console here. And the carpet's in good condition. Like I said, the mats are in the back. And the door panels are in great condition. Everything's working on it. Get under the hood here and we'll start it up and get under the hood and look at the gauges what a, <coughs> just turned 134,096 for the mileage and radio 
radio works great. The air conditioner blows nice and cold. The uh, tachometer is working there. The speedometer works. The outside temperature 85 degrees. That's all good. See the gauges are all good, you know, working condition. They have that temperature gauge. And it looks like the airbag light's on. And that's that red light that's up there. If you can't focus on it, it says airbag. Um, I'm not sure if that's because the passenger airbag thing's off or what's causing it. Got the uh, hooks here. That's the uh, hooks for the car. So that comes with it. And Right at the camera. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, six disc changer. You hit the load button here, and you can load in more than one disc. Hit shuffle, and it goes between all your songs. It's a nice feature for 2003. That was a big deal. Uh, it's got the uh, compass mirror up here, and it looks like it has somebody's tinted it. It's nice that you can, you can use it and see it, but really, this little area right here is really the only section that uh, that you need to worry about as far as looking in the back mirror. So you. If there's any lights or any other thing that's that might be a distraction that's tinted out uh, back in here you see the clock and you can see a little cubby hole up in here that's nice and clean and working up here you've got your sunglass holder and a couple of reading glass holder or something there and the lights are working here like they're supposed to be everything looks like it's in good condition mirrors under there oh, it's a really good shape I'm really surprised how nice the interior is. Put the parking brake on. Let's get out there and look under the hood. It's got some stuff going on here. I'm not sure if a bird got to this or what's going on. I tried taking a towel and wiping it off and I couldn't get it off. So that white stuff might have to be compounded out or um, even maybe wet sanded. I don't know what, if it's paint or just bird that just you know got put on there that's just stuck on there.